Hey guys, Marty here. Um, you can see I'm locked into my wander. Uh, you know, I have my full wand gear going. Um, the reason for this though is because I died today, and it's probably the first death in Path of Exile that has ever actually made me mad at this game. Um, <clears throat> I die constantly. You know, I've lost tons of characters. I've lost thousands of exalts. You know, I've died at number one on ladders whatever you know I'm not mad about losing the demi or anything what I'm mad about is the fact that the six second disconnect timer has not changed in this jam so I'm going to show you guys two examples of the six second disconnect timer killing someone um, so this is my rip today um, I had just crashed in this uh, armory about 30 seconds earlier and I've been had a lot of people say oh why well, go back into the map well Throughout the course of this event slash race, I've crashed 15 to 20 times in maps, and I always go back in, and I always clear the map, and it has never been an issue. I don't crash again. Um, in this particular case, when I crashed, I had just leapt directly onto a wall like my character is right now, and I kind of just figured, oh, maybe I hit the wall at a weird angle, and that's what caused me to crash. Um, but... Yeah, you know, I, so anyway, so I crashed, I go back in. Oh, and also, you know, it's it's SSF, and I don't have an unlimited supply of armories, um, especially I don't have a lot of uh, moon temples and belfries, or belfries, and so, you know, the more maps that I just am like, oh, well, I crashed in there, I'm not going back in, then eventually I'm just going to run out of these high-tier maps, and I'm not going to be able to keep up in XP with the other people who are pushing to 100. Um, but anyway, so this is what happens. You know, I'm clearing these packs just fine, totally safe, whatever, and then the game crashes. Um, unfortunately, the clip doesn't catch the part where I log back in, but right here, my game is crashed. I, I immediately after crashing, pressed my logout macro. Nothing, you know, I don't get logged back out to the login screen. That's the first sign for me, oh shit, this is a really bad crash, right? Because no, it didn't send me back to the login screen. Then I press Alt F4, nothing's happening. I go to open up Control uh, Alt Delete, and I end, try to end the task. And by the time I ended the task, you know it was already too late. So the clip cuts off right here, right as I close the thing. Um, here is another example of me dying to the six-second disconnect timer, um, but a different manner of which. Um, so in this map, you know, you can see right away, right here, it starts to get laggy. That's not, that's just literally I was lagging that night. I had this lag constantly, it was kind of, I was just dealing with it. And I accidentally walked into this pack because of the lag, like I, my KB didn't go off when I thought it did. But I was fine here. Like, you see this KB hits the wall up there, it's going to clear that entire pack. But I was pressing my flasps, like, I'm pressing... One, two, three, four, five, right here. And while pressing one, my finger, fat fingered uh, logout macro, which is tilde, or tilde, or whatever the thing next to one. And so I accidentally log out, and I get hit back to the login screen, or and I get the six second login timer, and I die here. So this was like a you know a couple hundred exalt character that I I died. I was I was annoyed by it, but it wasn't something that made me mad. But, you know, at this point, it's like, this has been an issue for, since I started playing this game. In fact, in the first league I played, Breach League, I died to the same thing. I had really bad internet issues randomly in Breach League, where I would sometimes just disconnect for a minute straight. And it would just, when that happened, I lost like four or five characters, because I would disconnect, and the game wouldn't catch that I disconnected. Even if I were to press a logout macro, I have no internet connection for this minute, so I'm just dead. And if this disconnect timer in this game was shortened to say, you know, like two or three or even one and a half or whatever, some shorter number, then in all of these situations I wouldn't die. Like if we watch this clip again, I'll show you what kills me in this clip. Right here, I leap onto these two mobs. Currently they're not even targeting me, so they would need to turn to me, attack me, and their first attack wouldn't kill me. It would probably get me to like, you know, about 4k life. 4.5k then they'd have to attack me again you know this is a turbo map with poison so it'd probably take about three attacks which would probably take about three seconds um and then i would die so if the timer was shorter i would not die 
And potentially this Leap Slam might have killed these mobs because my Leap Slam does a lot of damage. And sometimes I clear packs literally just by leaping on them and they die of the bleed. So these two wouldn't even be the ones who killed me most likely. They would have had to wait for these ones to get onto me and then attack me and then kill me. Actually, I wouldn't even take 2k from the hit. I'd probably take 1k because I have full endurance charges up. I also have Fortify and I am Grace, uh, or I have uh, Acrobatic, so I have 40% chance to dodge. Um, my flasks are even going to be up for the first hit if they attack me. So, like, realistically, it probably took four or five seconds for my character to die. Um, and there's no reason that my character shouldn't be logged out in those four to five seconds after. Um, so I don't mean to use this as, like, a preaching thing, but that's something that legitimately pissed me off with this death. And, you know, like I say, I die a lot in this game, and I don't normally get mad. But regardless, you know, I re-rolled. Um, I did a short stream today because it's Mother's Day. I'm about to go take my mom out to lunch and, uh, you know, have a little bit of real-life stuff going on because I've been spending so much time in-game right now. Um, I'll be playing this character for the foreseeable future, at least until I die. I have pretty good gear for it. Um, I'm just going to be magic-finding burials, like, uh, you know, kind of similar to something some of the stuff I've been doing last week. I, my goal is to try and self-farm a headhunter from Doctor Cards. I have no idea how long this is going to take. As of right now, I don't even have my flasps and stuff set up because I wasn't looting anything on the 100 push, right? Like, I had every single rare item hidden. I wouldn't loot uniques, um, so I wasn't getting alterations at all. They were hidden on my filter, too. Um, and that's just to get more experience per hour. Um, but now, so I have no alterations, I need to roll all my flasks. So what I'm probably going to do is, after I get back from lunch, I'm just going to go run Blood Aqueducts for... I don't know, maybe a couple hours while I just chill out and watch the Netflix or something. Um, I'll probably do that off stream. I don't normally play off stream, but in this case, I think it's warranted. You know, I'm, I don't want to do a two hour stream or a three hour stream. It, it just feels wasteful. And, you know, most people are going to end up missing it because most of my viewers usually show up around the two to three hour mark. So I just, you know, I'm just going to go chill and do that after I get back and. Uh, build up this character. I'm really happy with the gear though. Um, I do have my resistances capped. I'm having to use a rare shield to do that, but it's fine. Um, this shield I slammed. So I used uh, the lightning resistance essence to get this shield, and it actually turned out pretty good. It hit the hybrid evasion, um, evasion stun and block recovery with the hybrid life and evasion, and the lightning and the cold res. And I was like, oh, I can craft fire res on this and slam it, and maybe hit life. Well, I hit life, <laughs> but I hit tier 12 life, 10 to 19, so it's uh, not the best rolled shield you've ever seen, but it'll get the job done for now. I'll eventually replace it with an Esh's Mirror or something, but as of right now, I need the resistances. Later on, I'll get jewels. I don't have alterations, so I can't roll jewels. I probably have some in my stash that I can use, but I haven't bothered to look through that yet because I... Uh, ended my stream and you know I was just gonna do it when I got back from uh, lunch but yeah so this is kind of like the tree I'm using right now it's very similar to the um, rights to riches wand where I was playing the damage is probably gonna be terrible like right now I have 6k tooltip on my KB but that'll go up a lot as I get levels my gems still need levels and stuff too um, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it I love wanding as you guys all know I think it'll be super fun to have an SSF headhunter um, but yeah, so if I live until I farm the Headhunter, then my next goal is going to be farming a rig or, uh, Windripper. And then after that, I'm going to try and farm uh, Rigwald's Quills. So I'll farm those in Jungle Valley and Atoll for the Windripper, and I'll farm the Rigwald's Quills in Lair, if I make it that far without dying. If I die, then, I don't know, I'll figure out some build to play and mess around with in this uh, league. I might try out Fireball, because I really want to try Fireball, Vol Fireball for next league at some point. I'm just kind of curious to see how the power level is. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at right now, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoy the video. I'm pretty annoyed about the rip. You know, I understand that it's not GG's fault or anything. Like, I know that why they have this stuff in place, but it is very frustrating. And so I'm sorry to use my uh, channel as a bit of a soapbox, but hopefully you guys understand. And I hope you guys have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.